Ukraine accuses Russia of destroying major dam near Kherson, warns of widespread flooding. KYIV Ukraine, AP Ukraine on Tuesday accused Russian forces of blowing up a major dam and hydroelectric power station in a part of southern Ukraine that Russia controls, sending water gushing from the breached facility and risking massive flooding. Ukrainian authorities ordered hundreds of thousands of residents downriver to evacuate. Russian officials countered that the Kakovka Dam was damaged by Ukrainian military strikes in the contested area. Ukrainian authorities have previously warned that the failure of the Kakovka Dam could unleash 18 million cubic meters, 4.8 billion gallons, of water and flood Kherson and dozens of other areas downriver where hundreds of thousands of people live, as well as threatening a nearby Russian-occupied nuclear power plant. Ukraine's nuclear operator Energodom said in a telegram statement that the blowing up of the dam could have negative consequences for the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, but at the moment situation is controllable. The UN's International Atomic Energy Agency wrote on Twitter that its experts were closely monitoring the situation at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant upstream, and there was no immediate nuclear safety risk at the facility. According to the Ukraine War Environmental Consequences Working Group, a total collapse in the dam would wash away much of the left bank and a severe drop in the reservoir has the potential to deprive the nuclear plant of crucial cooling, as well as dry up the water supply in northern Crimea. President Volodymyr Zelensky called an emergency meeting to deal with the crisis, Ukrainian officials said. The Ukrainian Interior Ministry wrote on Telegram that the Kakovka Dam had been blown up and called for residents of 10 villages on the river's right bank and parts of the city of Kherson downriver to gather essential documents and pets, turn off appliances, and leave, while cautioning against possible disinformation. The Russian-installed mayor of Nova Kakovka Vladimir Leontiev said Tuesday that numerous strikes on the Kakovka hydroelectric plant destroyed its valves, and water from the Kakovka reservoir began to uncontrollably flow downstream. Leontiev said the strikes were a very serious terrorist act said Moscow-appointed authorities are preparing for the worst consequences, though stopping short of urging an evacuation of city residents. Ukraine controls five of the six dams along the Dnipro, which runs from its northern border with Belarus down to the Black Sea and is crucial for the entire country's drinking water and power supply. Footage from what appeared to be a monitoring camera overlooking the dam that was circulating on social media purported to show a flash, explosion and breakage of the dam. Oleksandr Perkutin, the head of the Kherson Regional Military Administration, said in a video posted to Telegram shortly before 7 a.m. that the Russian army has committed yet another act of terror, and warned that water will reach critical levels within five hours. Energodom wrote that the Kakovka Reservoir, where water levels are rapidly decreasing, is necessary for the plant to feed the turbine condensers and ZNPP safety systems, the statement said. Currently the station cooling pond is full, as of 8 a.m., the water level is at 16.6 meters, and this is enough for the needs of the station, it said. Energodom will continue to monitor the situation together with the IAEA, the statement said. Ukraine and Russia have previously accused each other of targeting the dam with attacks, and last October Zelensky predicted that Russia would destroy the dam in order to cause a flood. Authorities, experts and residents have for months expressed concerns about water flows through, and over, the Kakovka Dam. In February, water levels were so low that many feared a meltdown at the Zaporizhia nuclear plant, whose cooling systems are supplied with water from the Kakovka reservoir held up by the dam. By mid-May, after heavy rains and snow melt, water levels rose beyond normal levels, flooding nearby villages. Satellite images showed water washing over damaged sluice gates. Ukraine controls five of the six dams along the Dnipro River, which runs from its northern border with Belarus down to the Black Sea and is crucial for the entire country's drinking water and power supply. The Kakovka Dam, the one furthest downstream, is controlled by Russian forces.